the month of May in North India, the summer heat and humidity are at their peak. In these gentle hills and valleys of the sub Himalay lives a bird, perhaps the most beautiful to be found in India, the paradise flycatcher, by far the most fairy-like bird to be found right across our plains and foothills. Although the paradise flycatcher is not uncommon, anyone who sees one cannot but wonder at the beauty of the male bird's streaming tail feathers. A shy bird with a weakness for thick forests and shady groves alike, it is particularly fond of mango orchards. On a scorching day in the month of May, temperatures can rise as high as 50 degrees Celsius. When all other forest creatures have sought the solace of water holes and shady ravines, a paradise flycatcher pair are busy at work, lending the last semblance of order to their compact nest cup, which consists largely of small twigs, fibers and spiders' egg bags. The nest is generally situated at a height of 2 to 15 meters from the ground. The nest completed, the female starts spending all her time on it, preparing to lay her eggs, generally three or four and rarely five in number. The eggs are a pale creamy pink in color, speckled and blotched with reddish brown. The female incubates the eggs for a large part of the day and all night. This goes on through the warm summer days for about 15 days. Then, one fine day, the young ones hatch and the real work begins for the paradise flycatcher pair. They make numerous trips back and forth to the nest, bringing back freshly caught prey in the form of moths, butterflies, beetles and grasshoppers. The appetite of the young chicks is apparently insatiable. The parents sometimes get over-enthusiastic and feed them prey that is much too large for the chicks. The father tries once and not being able to get the insect into the yawning gape, pulls it out and tries stuffing it in again, this time too without luck. Finally, he changes gapes and succeeds in stuffing it down a different one. Meanwhile, a monitor lizard attacks an adjacent nest and leaves behind a feast for the red ants. Our pair, meanwhile, has succeeded in bringing up their young. The four chicks barely fit in now. During a monsoon shower, they attempt to make their first forays into the world. One by one, they hop out of the nest and sit on adjacent branches. One fine day, they too will fly free like their parents and pair up to breed in a nearby orchard or in the underbrush over a bubbly forest brook.